Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these retro romantic earrings. They're easy to make, they basically consist of one element repeated many times and I'm using really simple stuff so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. In this way, you will be notified when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting. And you don't know how much of a support this is. And down there in the description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 11 0 seed beads and here I use golden 8 0 beads and I need 104 beads for two earrings. And these are ear wires in this beautiful old gold color and this is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or so 0.15 millimeters scissors and these are flat nose pliers they are not obligatory only if you need to go through the difficult beads you use them now i'm going to put about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and now i have my arm span of thread on my needle and first i'm going to pick up four of these beautiful golden beads okay and now i'm going to slide those down I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice or three times through the loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot just like this and pull again okay and then I'm going here through the following 8-0 bead, okay? And I now I have what's called right angle weave or a cross of four beads, okay? And then I'm going to take one of these beautiful dark beads, okay? And I'm going here, one more, here. And I'm basically surrounding my work with these beautiful rainbow or chameleon beads. Okay guys, now I'm here and I'm in a position to start my next element. And for my next element I need three golden beads, just like this. And I'm going back through this golden. Okay, then in my next step I'm going through the following golden, like this, take one 11 ohm and go here in the next 8 ohm, one more and go here in this direction. Okay guys. Now this is what I have, then I'm going through these beads here, and exiting out of this golden bead. Now I'm going to take three goldens, go back through this golden here, pull, and I will repeat the same thing. Because here I already have two 11 O's that are there, I will add only two 11 O's. Okay, this one here, and one more. And I'm pulling. And I will make one more of those elements. And then I will start a second row with this pattern. I will show you the last element of this row. Okay. 
Okay, guys, and this time I'm not exiting out of this golden bead like I did in my previous steps, but I'm exiting here because I'm going to start a second row. And for my second row, I take three golden beads again like I did before. And I'm repeating those steps. Okay, and now pay attention, I'm going through the following golden here. Okay. And I will continue here with my next element. And for my next element, what I'm going to take this time are two goldens. Not three like I did in my previous steps, because here I have two goldens that are already there. One from this element and one from this one here. Okay. Now I pull. And I will continue with the 11 O's. But here in this step, I'm, I will add only one 11 O because the others are already there. Okay. This is the difference in this row. Okay. Exiting here out of this golden, out of this one here. And I'm going to take two more goldens like this, going back through these two goldens. You see, this is the only difference between my previous steps and these steps. Okay. And here my goal is to reach this last step here where, you know, I'm taking two golden beads, going back through it. And here what I need to add is one of these beautiful 11 O's, okay, just like this. And I'm going to reinforce this last element here. Okay. Then what I do is step up in my next row. And in order to do this, I'm going here in this golden bead. And what I need here are three goldens because here I have one golden and I need a cross of four. That is why I'm adding three here. And then go through the following golden. Take 11 now. And here at the first step of each row, I add three goldens and two eleven O's. Okay, and here I'm going through two beads and adding two beads. And still, when you do this, I have a cross of four beads. I'm just using beads from my neighbor elements to make this work, okay? Now I need here an 11 0 Go back through this. And guys, I will show you until the end of this row how I'm making it. Okay guys, and now I'm going to start my next row and I will start it the same way like I did before with three golden beads 
and with two 11 ohms here and I will continue this with two goldens and one 11 ohm until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next and here I am guys where I'm adding my last bead from this row By the way, you, if you continue this, you could make a large bracelet, this size large, it will look really cool. And now I'm exiting out of this bead here, this 11 0 and what I want to take this time are four goldens. I go back in circle through this golden, through this uh, 11 0 sorry. And now I'm going through this golden one eleven now repeat this two times and here at my last step i will go through this golden not through this eleven now but through this golden to make this shape look better now I'm going at this side of my element and I'm going to take three goals and then make the familiar steps. Okay, then I'm going at this side and I will repeat what I did here. Okay, and it's time to make one more element from this side. And in order to do this, I want to reach this part of my work here at the center and go through this central two golden beads. And since I'm going through two goldens, I think you might guess what I'm going to take. And these are two more goldens and I'm going back and here at the top you know I will take one 11 now and go back in circle reinforcing my work okay and I'm here and I'm going to take my ear wire and I will take 11 now go through my ear wire and one more 11 now so this is what I have on my needle 11 now ear wire 11 now I will go back here through my work and I'm going to reinforce it Okay guys, and after I did the reinforcement here, what I need to do is to make a knot and in order to make my knot, I'm making here between those two beads a loop. I'm going twice through the loop I've made, I'm pulling. Then I'm going through the following seed bead. I'm pulling and you could repeat this knot several more times. You could reinforce your work as many times as you like, but when you make the last knot, go through the following seed bead, never cut next to a knot and then cut your thread. And now guys, my retro romantic earrings are ready. And now my retro romantic earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me on 
only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.